Welcome to Neudis Lockdown Files part 3. Today is uh, December the 18th and I started the daily video thing two days ago. And uh, yeah, I always thought about just showing off stuff and then I noticed that I have millions of gigabytes of footage uh, music wise uh, from Street Clip TV, from my own bands uh, or bands I played in uh, or play in. <laughs> Uh, that I can use that too and today we will watch together uh, so far unseen a live version of Cage of Mirrors from Manila Road from Manila Road Festival which more or less became I think harder than Steel Festival so uh, but before all that I was at Aldi uh, you I think Aldi is worldwide meanwhile so I don't have to to explain who this company is. Uh, it was a cheap supermarket and now it became a really good one through all the years. So all these jokes uh, that uh, yeah somebody was rob robbing an Aldi and everything was stolen uh, and the worth of what they have stolen was $100. Jokes like this are not uh, make no sense anymore these days but they have a really interesting beer that I haven't tried yet and we will do that before we watch uh, this vi music video together now. It's a Winterbock, a Winterbock from Schultheis, whoever this is, but it looks cool, it looks nearly a little metal and I would say we try that together. Yeah, not for the cats, they watch me here again of course. Yeah, what can I say about Cage of Mirrors which is from the second Manila Road album, Metal. Yeah, I think when I joined the band, of course, I was more shy and quiet first, but not too long. <laughs> and yeah, one of my, of course, I I have I had some songs of, uh, on my wish list to play live, and the first one that I was a pain in the ass was Cage of Mirrors, and uh, but I think we played that. Yeah, after a while we played that song, we had it in several set lists, and uh, yeah, oh, this smells good. Um, uh, um, uh, more of a running gag, running joke was <laughs> that I was asking for The Empire, that long song from album number one, and yeah, <laughs> this took me a little longer <laughs> until we played that song. Uh, but I'm really happy that we did. I think it was in 2016 or 17 when we played The Empire the first time. But Cage of Mirrors always was a, a favorite song of mine to play live. This I, 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 I always loved songs that have the dynamics from really low to really heavy. And this song has it. I think it's because I grew up with Remember Tomorrow from Iron Maiden, for example. And yeah, I... Since then, I love that and Cage of Mirrors is a more than perfect example for a song that is really mellow and then there's this huge heavy metal breakout, even if we talk about I think 1982 or so, the guys must have written this in 1981 or so. So I would say, oh yeah, by the way, this beer is really great. I couldn't suggest it. I don't know if it's worldwide, the Winter Bock, but it's, I think it's a little stronger than usual beers, but yeah, I love it. Okay, so I would say let's watch, oh yeah, this video, I need to tell you something again before we start. This is from a GoPro, you know, that we had two GoPros mounted on this little stage in Dittigheim near Lauda Königshofen, you know that, uh, Keep It True Festival, and of course Oliver Weinsheimer was the organizer of Manila Road Festival, I can't remember all the bands he played with, I think it was Attic. And I was happy I saw Tempest there for the first time live, that was great. Uh, and some more, I uh, can't remember too well. And yeah, we, we really recorded that. We, I have the 24 audio audio tracks out, upstairs, but I can't find all the other cam cameras anymore. We, we noticed that it was a great show with, with the people and everything. You see, we'll see that in a minute, but if you listen closely <laughs> to the 24 audio, audio tracks, uh, it was not good enough for a, a real release. 
Uh, so yeah, since then this is on my computer, but, but I found this GoPro recordings today. And yeah, Cage of Mirrors is, of course the sound is not really good here, but uh, you can hear Mark singing really well and he's great, he was great that night. Uh, with uh, one vocal cord missing, of course. It was not always easy for him to sing his old stuff, but Cage of Mirrors always was great. And then Brian came in for the heavy part. And yeah, this this energy is... Yeah, I really was flashed again. <laughs> Even, uh, yeah, we played that really often. And I think it always was a great live song. And yeah, this was at... Uh, but like I, I wanted to say, tell you that uh, all this footage is unreleased and will remain unreleased, except of... Now a little GoPro video that we all will enjoy now and I see you after this video and I think we can put up the original roadster pressing of metal then on my turntable to have some fun or Mr. Andreas Gordon. Give it up for Andreas Gordon! Over here on the bass guitar, we got Josh Castillo. Our vocals, we have my good friend from the solo. <laughs> And my fellow bike rider, Mr. Brian Hellroady Patrick. <laughs> Mr. Mark Shelton's going to do something special for you.
from back in the days. I don't know what this is. This is with a barcode. There were no barcodes back then. So yeah, mm, the smell of an old vinyl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's heavy cardboard here. That is, yeah, they, it, it, it feels, so it, it, it even feels different than more recent albums. Yeah, and here we have the vinyl. This is okay here, a little. The vinyl itself looks really good and I think, yeah, this is with the lyrics and everything. I think we will, usually I don't put that original on, but I think for a video, yeah, to end up this video, this could be fun, or? Yeah, I don't know if you see me fully here, I don't care. This is the volume that we need now. This is my new turntable from Project. I don't know if you know this brand. That's the Project Debut Carbone. That's a great name. Could be a cool band too. So switching that this thing on too and grabbing the Manila Road. The original metal LP on Roadster Records. Yeah, this all looks really good here. So let's see how it sounds. Let's see, is it loud enough? I mean it's never loud enough, but mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly the toms uh, of, the, uh, of the drum set that Rick Fisher played back then and still has in his warehouse. 
and yeah, these are the open uh, silver Tama toms. Uh, I played his drum set, the, the original Crystal Logic that we call it, but I think he already played it on metal uh, on a new S tour. And when I got two of these babies for cheap, it's really hard to get them cheap these days, I bought them. So this is a little metal and Crystal Logic here at home. So I guess that's enough. I hope I will see you tomorrow uh, to the next lockdown video.